Thank you everybody for coming out today. We can rain or shine, it's looking good for now. We're ready to do a rally on Western Road. We're re ready to tell our landlord dream that tenants on a rent strike here are not going to be intimidated by none of the notices that they've been getting, by none of the phone calls, by the security that we get often when people are canvassing the building. I will show you the strength in numbers that we have right here, that we have to support of many in our community. We have the support of our neighbors, which is the first thing. Whenever we organize, the first place we say is you're not alone, and we're stronger together. And we've shown that all strikes is June 1st at 13, July 1st, 22 joints, London. Give it up, give it up for the strike together. And we've also shown that our neighbors, our community, allied organizations are going to show up to fight for what's fair and for what's right. We have here tenants from all over the Europe of Western, tenants from Western Road, all those high buildings are represented here. We have, as you can see, many, many unions, many community organizations that have come out. Thank you, Josh, for being here too. Yeah. 
How can we allow this to continue? How can we sit back while corporate landlords profit at our expense? Today we gather here, we united in our demand for immediate action from the government and our politicians. We call upon them to pick a side, a side that favors tenants and uphold the right to houses. We will demand the enforcement of strict regulations of private landlords and the implementation of strict rent control on all housing infrastructure in Ontario. But let us not stop there, my friends. We must be proactive in our approach. We must identify opportunities to bring about real change. And one of such opportunities lies in the acquisition of private infrastructure by the government, allowing for non-market houses or tenancies for renters in Ontario. Imagine a future where we are not at the mercy of corporate greed, where housing is a right and not a privilege. Today we stand on the precipice of change. We have the power to reshape the narrative, to demand justice, and to create a better future for ourselves and the generations to come. Let our voices be heard loud and clear as we march toward a society where affordable housing is not a luxury but a fundamental right for everyone. My friends here today, as we march together in this great strike rally, let us remember the words of Martin Luther King Jr. Injustice everywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Let us channel the power of his words, his resolute determination, and his unwavering belief in the power of the people. So I ask you, my fellow tenants, my fellow fighters for housing justice, will you continue to accept the status quo? Will you let the corporate landlord and the political class trample upon our rights? Or will you rise up with me today, united in our demand for change? The choice is ours. My friends, let us stand together. Let our voices echo through the streets and let justice prevail. Let us march forward in the spirit of unity, strength, and justice. Thank you so much. We want to give some space for some of the supporting organizations and then I'll explain how we're going to march, but I want to give it up for and your back in terms of the Toronto Star Region Labour Council.
All members are not the billionaires. I'm not even saying million, the billionaires. They are members that seek help from the trade unions to take on these fights. And they are workers that don't have that opportunity. And so we are here this morning to send a message. To send a message to greedy, greedy owners that this is not okay. This is not a new story. It's not new, but when we saw what happened during this pandemic where people was fighting to keep a roof over their heads. People was fighting because those greedy owners was exploiting people to the point of trying to put them out on the street. So I applaud you for standing up to bully and greedy, greedy owners like this. This is not a thing. A lot of you live in these buildings for so many years. Children standing here that was born in these buildings. Promise that was made and leased that's here and now we have owners that take over only to build profit and we're not stopping them from gaining but you're not going to lose in this fight we're going to send that message that you know what people count your human rights is at stake right now and you're saying hell no we're saying hell no they want to make money they're lying about what they want to fix that's why they charge your rent in the first place is to make sure they pay their bills and fix it that you can live in it. Not to come back and exploit you to put in to load up their pockets. That's all they're doing. It doesn't matter how much increase they're going to put on. There's so many things that will be broken and not fixed because it was never about you. And so we're sending this message. We're sending it not just to this greedy owner but to this government. That this is about time. In the pandemic we heard the Ford government shout loudly that this is not okay, but what did he do? Nothing, Nothing because these greedy little suckers are back again and we're saying hell no. Yeah. Are we gonna fight? Yeah. Are we gonna fight? Yeah. Are we gonna roll over and play dead? No. Are we gonna stand up and fight? Yes. So we are here with you. The labor movement is here with you. Because it's about us as union and it's about us as community. You are every bit our heart and soul. And we're here to send that message that we're not going to tolerate them exploiting you any longer. We're not going to tolerate them taking their, their money to load their pocket. We're not going to tolerate them sticking their fingers in their ears and pretend that you don't exist. We're here to remind them that it's not just you. When they take you on, they take on the rest of your community. They take on the rest of these buildings. And they take on the labor movement. So we're going to stand together in solidarity. Solidarity, sisters and brothers and comrades. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Give it up for Andrea again. I want to invite now Ryan Dowthright from the Western King Neighborhood Center. And I want to say something very particular about this amazing organization that has been supporting the rent strike. Dream offered them a donation. And they said, we don't want your dirty money. We are dealing with the tenants that have to come to the food banks because of the rents that you're charging. So we don't want your money. And that's a huge show of solidarity that we want to give represent our dream for the city. They represent a nightmare for our city's future, and that's why this rent strike is a necessary action. Nightmare Unlimited! <laughs> dream Unlimited is making this neighborhood and the city increasingly unlivable for low to moderate income earners through their extortionary tactics of above guideline rent increases, many of which have yet to be approved by the landlord in Singapore and here to property with less facing the tenants. We know Dream is worried about their public image, and that is why rallies like this are important. In the last six months, Dream has been shopping around for local community organizations, 
seeking to do, donate water from the fund. But no act or amount of so-called charity will fix the problems they have created and intensified. What's worse, many of the tenants are several citizens of the very community organizations they are seeking to make donations to. Many tenants need to use food banks and rely on community kitchens because they collect extraordinary profits that the tenants make friends. Many cases of state of work seem to buy guideline rent increases and use a time of action for profit for charity. But the tenants are not asking for charity. They're asking for fair charity and everyone on the free rate to be paid affordable housing on the outside. They are asking to not have to rely on food banks and meal programs because of their shelter costs. They are asking to be treated with respect and dignity. It's not new, it's not new in fact that those in the top will use a fraction of their profits to charity to keep the status quo and dream of using the same model that has proven up all time in Canada. They deserve to be publicly shamed for these actions and the tenants of great food families come to God to serve these people with respect. What do you do to my neighbors, friends, and community is worsening the housing crisis we have in the city. The fact is that we continue to see the threat of our guideline increases. More and more people will be at risk of homelessness for which, for which the city has no answer for. I see this all the time at work when tenants can no longer afford their rent and they cannot find new accommodations because of the ridiculously high prices. Right. If they're lucky, they can downgrade from the one bedroom they have lived in for decades to a rooming house. If not, they end up on the street or an over capacity shelter system. The tenants need Dream to listen to the reasonable demands or Dream will be directly responsible for the suffering the tenants will face in this crisis that's living in our city. Let's be the neighborhood center stands in solidarity with the rent strikers in the courageous attempt to seek out new justice, despite what we want to do. You're not the Western King! We have ponchos. If anybody needs a poncho, the red poncho is in the middle and that's the blue ones at the back as well. Right there, if anyone needs ponchos, but we are keep, we're going to keep this going. Raider time. All right, let's give it up now to Council Hassan Kisa, former AP Kings, and we're fighting for 10 years. Well, for many years, we've been fighting for 10 years. 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 We've been Brothers and sisters, neighbors, our neighbors here at 23 King Street and 23 Jordan Street are fighting for fair rent. It's got to be very right grassroots people from the communities. And I'm here for the loving of our neighbors. A bit of zero, a bit of mystery about 20 good, 20 Jordan Street. It was the best farmer's market, farmer's market ever in the city. Second to none. Sold us the right to build an affordable housing. Guess what? We have given so much money to those developers and we don't have farmers market and our community cannot afford. Every year the rent continues because of the above guideline increases. And we, and we need to burn it. And also because of the landlords have the responsibility of dealing with the maintenance issue. It is not the tenant's responsibility. It is the landlords who are supposed to be uh, dealing with maintenance issues. What is the Ontario government is doing is again charging the tenants by passing about guidelines for an increase. We need it to eliminate it and ban it all together. Because it is not fair. And the poor conservatives, they are watching today here. This is a movement. Tenants across the city are going to rent a strike because the landlords are continuing to rent charges because of about guideline rent increases. It's now to recall the parliament and build this and eliminate about rent guideline increases. Now, 
I stand solidarity with our neighbors and I ask each and every one of you to join this movement and support our brothers and sisters and our neighbors who are to the street and also to the jobs. Thank you. I you and to our president, Manas, to be our brother and to each and every one of you, Manas. I'm going to get ready to learn when I say Planet, you say power. Planet! Power! Planet! Power! When I say worker, you say power. Worker! Power! Worker! Power! When I say people, you say power. People! Power! People! Power! People! Power! Alright, so we're going to get ready to march now. Western Road, to show everybody on Western Road that we're fighting together for civil rights. We're going to go to the NPP's office. And then to the fellow Minister of Housing, he told me to try to find this building, but he never showed up. So we're going to go and say a few things. We're going to have a track at the front, which is going to be virtual. And we're going to go, everybody behind the red stripe banner that Teresa and Amelia are holding here. Alright? If you need a photo, we have photos for everybody. Alright, for our kids, one more thing. We have made for kids. If you any kids want to do a clap for your hands, let us know what we want to do. Alright? Let's set up over here on the street. We're not going to take the street. So just over here.
He's not the college in Muskoka, right? We're here because we want to make sure that our elected representatives know that the tenants in this community are fighting back and that he and the government will have to pick a side. Are you going to continue being on the side of landlords or are you going to stay with, stay with tenants? As of all the trailer that is happening, as of the thing happening to John, that you all be seeing. I'm going to give it up to one of our tenants, Lisa 33 King, a legend of the struggle, Beverly Henry, to say a few words. Knowing that our collective action has the power 
separation from each other. Now, a lot of the town members are working second jobs on 
depends on which people. <laughs>
Because part of building community is having fun as well. Yeah! We're gonna have a community barbecue. We're gonna have halal, vegetarian options. There will be drinks, there will be live music. Is there beef? <laughs> Someone was asking, it wasn't Is me. there beef? Maria, Maria. <laughs> everybody needs yes. just reach out to him we're just gonna make our way back up there and we're gonna have a good afternoon fun just before the rain but it's been amazing thank you everybody.